Hi guys and welcome back to another video in this series on how to get started with digital planning. In our previous video we saw how you can use this yearly spread, I personally used it to keep my birthdays of the year of people that I care about. And now the only thing is that my tab here says year, it doesn't say birthdays. So I want to change that and in this video I will show you how you can do it. Okay, so in order to change the existing tabs on your planner, first of all, know that this might be a little time consuming and it takes effort, but I think it's really cool that you are able to do this because you can fully customize your planner. Now, this planner is quite simple because it only has a few, you know, it has the yearly tabs that normally you don't want to change because you want January to be January, etc. And you do have these other tabs to the right. So these are some that you might want to change and you can just add other icons or stickers on top of the existing ones and in this case i'm changing the one that says year again this is only one tab that i'm going to be changing and that's why this method is helpful for me now we are going to be using a little app called pixel and i have a full video showing how this works in more detail in case that you want to check it out i'm gonna link it below but if you want, you can get this app, it's free, and I forgot it only works in portrait mode, so I am forced to uh, move my iPad this way. I hope you can see it in the screen. There we go. So feel free to download this app from the App Store. If you can't find it under Pixel, just uh, write hex color codes or hex codes. I'm gonna double check on what's the phrase that I used to find this app because I, if I recall correctly, you can just find it typing in pixel in the app store. But anyway, with this app, what we're going to do, I'm gonna go back to my planner and I'm actually just gonna flip my planner to be in portrait mode. And this is what we're gonna do. In this first tab, which is selected, and that's why it's turned to white. If I tap on the other tabs, as you can see, when they are selected, they will also turn to white. Now I'm gonna go back to my year. But if I swipe to the left, now you can see that my year originally is gray, okay? And I don't know what exact shade of gray this is and that's what we use the app pixel for to to know exactly what code i'm going to need to enter to get this color but what we can do right now because this selected tab is only white and the top is gray but that doesn't matter i can really just make up uh, any gray color and nobody's gonna tell the difference. Right now I don't need to find out any codes. I can simply find my white color and start working. So I'm gonna activate my toolbar with my little pen icon at the top here, okay? And once I have that, I'm gonna tap on my pen. I'm gonna select a white color, which I have predetermined here. If you don't, you can just tap on a color and then pick the color that you are going to use. And I'm gonna go to the thickest pen option. Again, you can click on that with and, and then move this slider to select the biggest size. Now, I'm just gonna go over the word year with my pen. So basically, I'm just covering it all, okay? And now I'm gonna add a text box Okay, so click on your text box and literally just write, I'm gonna write birthday and my text is white, you can't see anything. Let me turn that to gray. As I said, I can use any gray because nobody's gonna tell the difference, but you can go, just remember which shade you used so that we can be consistent and use that shade of gray on any other tab that's selected throughout the planner. I hope this is making some sense, you'll see as we move along. So I'm gonna use the third, fourth, fifth shade of gray, or maybe the sixth one, yeah, I think that's fine. And I need to make this text smaller, so click on your text menu here, and then just go to the minus sign here to make the text a lot smaller because I want it to fit on the tab, okay? I think that's fine. I'm going to center this. I just like to center the text all the time. And, okay, and then I can place it here. Now, because the text is centered, I can also center uh, the, the text box on top of the tab because I can see that this ends here So this one should end here so that it can be perfectly centered, you know, that's why centering the text is helpful Okay, and a little lower Something like that. Okay, so now my tab says a birthday instead of year perfect now when I swipe my tab now says year again. So how can I fix that? That's why we are going to 
uh, find out the code of this color. To do that, I need to take a screenshot of my screen. So just tap on your power and volume buttons on the new iPads, okay? To take a screenshot and you can just crop it a little bit because we only care about this gray one. Done, save to photos and then open pixel, okay? And now where it says capture, sorry, so down here I clicked on where it says capture and then you click on your photos icon right here and then you just select the photo that you are going to be working with. In this case, this is it. Click on use, okay? Now, that's it. The gray color is selected, but if not, you can just drag this circle. As you can see, I only have white, gray, or I could also choose a color from the toolbar in GoodNotes, etc. Wherever I place my finger, that's the color that is going to be selected. So on the gray part, that's it. Remove my finger and this is the code that I need for this particular shade of gray. It's number 747474. This is quite easy, I can remember it. Otherwise, you can click on where it says share on the top left corner, copy, and that is going to copy this as text. And then you can go to good notes and what we do here to add that particular color to a color palette in good notes we are going to open our colors by just tapping on one of these dots here and then where it says custom and then here you have a box that actually has a code so if i double tap there and i paste now that's the color that we want as you can see you can see a preview of that color right here and now I want to add it to presets just so that it's saved, okay? So I'm gonna start adding my color palette with the particular colors of this planner and those I can save here. So in the future, I can just come back and reference this color and I don't have to find it all over again, okay? So now I have that color selected and I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did on the other tab that was white. And I'm just gonna write or draw over this tab to delete the existing text. And now, instead of adding a text box, I'm actually just gonna go to the previous page to copy the text box that I already had made. So for that, I'm gonna use my lasso tool, but you wanna tap on your lasso tool again to deactivate the option that says handwriting. Because the handwriting is what you, the ink that you use to cover the existing tab. So if I don't deactivate that and then I select my text, I'm also going to select the ink that covers the original word. So I make sure to turn the handwriting option off and then I can copy this word, okay? So use the lasso tool, select it, copy, and then go to the next page, tap and hold, click on paste, center it, and tap again, click on color, and just choose white. And now my tab, once again, has been modified. Now, go back to your lasso tool, tap on it, activate the first option, handwriting, because this time I do want to select both the ink that is covering the original word as well as my own word. So I'm gonna select them both with my lasso tool, copy, and then I can actually flip my um, iPad back to landscape view, it's more comfortable for me. I'll move on to my next page, okay? Now here again, it says year. So I'm just gonna tap and hold, click on paste, and I have my ink and my word, and this should cover the existing tab. And again, the tab has been replaced. Now, this is a part that I mentioned before that takes a lot of time because you have to do this on every single page of your planner, or you can decide to, for example, only do it on the monthly spreads, so I already did it on January, I can go to February and do it here, then go to March, do the same, April, etc. And this method personally works for me because I focus more on the monthly views usually than on the weeks. So for example, if I go to, to March and I have my monthly view that says birthday, but I have my weeks that don't say birthday, they say year. For me, that's not a huge deal. But if you want, you can just go and change every single tab of every page in the planner so that your actual planner, the whole thing changes so that the first tab says birthdays and not year. Now, another thing I've done in the past is that I just start, let me go back to this page, year, okay? I just start doing a batch, let's say 10, 15, 20 pages if you want. This planner has, let me tell you how many pages. It has 97, so almost 100 pages uh, that you would have to change manually. But 
if you do you know 10 pages every time that you sit and plan 15 20 pages this is not going to be as long and tedious all right guys so that was it on this video on how to modify the tabs in your existing planner so that you can adapt it and customize it to your needs I hope that you liked this video and that you learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when there's a new video coming. I have more videos coming showing you how to use and make the most out of this Printstick Planner. Thank you so much, guys, and see you in my next video.